everyone, gather around. Chibi Maruko-chan is about to start. Dad's secret base. What? I'm going to be all alone with Dad tomorrow night? Yes, that's right, sweetheart. I have a class reunion. And we're going on a trip to the Hot Springs with the Senior Citizens Club. And I'm sure I mentioned to you the other day that I'll be going to be staying at Yoshiko's house this weekend. I think you did, but I really wasn't paying attention. All right, how's this for a solution then? If you absolutely cannot stand to be away from me for that long, well then, I guess I'll just have to cancel the trip. Who needs hot springs? Huh? I didn't mean that I was going to miss you. Huh? No, I'm just jealous that everyone else is going to have a good time. Man, I envy you guys. Oh, uh, so you mean you're not going to miss me at all? No, 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 no. Oh, okay, I guess that's all right. I swallow my pain. I have no worth in this world. Now that's a bummer. Written by Tomozo, a haiku of a lonely mind. I want to eat fancy food as well. This is the worst thing that ever happened. Keep it down. So how about this? Would it help if we got some fancy food too? Really? Yeah, let's get something super tasty and special. Hooray, hooray! You're the best dad ever! You dodged a bullet there, Dad. So, I trust you're going to look after the house tomorrow, aren't you? You betcha! You guys have fun on your little excursions. Leave the house stuff to the Maruko and Hiroshi team. It's going to be so great. Maruko and Hiroshi? Sounds like a third-rate comedy duo. I'm Maruko. I'm Hiroshi. We're, We're the, the Maruko, Maruko and, and Hiroshi, Hiroshi team. Right. I'm off. Boy, everybody's gone. You bet. I think it's time for some TV. I sure love that show. Uh -oh. You hear that? How about we get some food, Dad? Uh -huh. mm. Oh, that's so typical of him. Wake up, Dad! My stomach isn't gonna feed itself. <laughs> what is it? I was having an amazing dream before you woke me up. I'm hungry, Dad. Let's eat. You are? Is it dinner time already? Mom said it'd be okay if we ordered food. Let's get yummy delivery. <sighs> what do you think we should order? Oh, I know. I'll go get the delivery menu. How about we eat out? What? Eat out? I can't remember the last time we ate out. It's so exciting. What do we have? Tempura or eel? Wrong guess. Oh, please. I wasn't even trying to guess right. I've got plenty more. Okay, here goes. Are we having sushi, omelet rice? How about hamburger? Oh, great, it's still open. Huh? Seriously? Welcome. Hi there. Really? Here? Look who it is. Good to see you, Boo. Oh, hello, how are you? It's Butaro's dad. Aha, uh -huh. and you have Maruka with you, Boo. Please, pull up a seat, Boo. Go ahead. Uh. 
Order anything you like. Really? Okay, then. So where's the menu? Oh, come on. Can't you order a little food without a menu? You really are still a kid. It's kind of weird that that fact surprises you, Dad. A juice and a sake. And for the young girl here, egg and radish and a bag of rice, too. For me, fried bean curd, yum cake, and fish cake. Sure thing. Here, sweetie. Oh, wow! Thank you so much! <laughs> it's hot! You silly girl. Here, try it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Yummy. Good, huh? I could never say this out loud in my home, but your Odon is much tastier than my mom, sir. Thanks, young lady. That's very kind of you. Oh, hey. Fancy seeing you guys down here. Hey there. Thank you for the other day. Hello. Oh, hi. You're here too, are you, Maruko? A hot sake, please. And a few of your best Odon pieces. Got it? So you're having a daddy daughter date, huh? That's nice. No, it's nothing as highfalutin as that. You see, Mom... She left us this afternoon. Really? Your mother left? Why did she take off like that, boo? Uh, sweetie, choose your words better. Huh? It's the truth, isn't it? Golly, I never took her for that type. You just never know when you're gonna get blindsided, Boo. Uh, no, no, it's not what you think. Only one thing for it. Uh, what do you say we have a drink to commiserate? Uh, you got the whole thing all wrong. Seriously, Maruko, I want you to tell these men the truth now. What do you mean, Dad? I am telling the truth. Mom left this afternoon to go to a class reunion. Seriously? Goodness me! I thought your wife had deserted you on account of your personality, Boo. Oh, come on, guys, that's ridiculous. Weird. I didn't know my dad was even friends with these two men. Speaking of running away from home... What happened? You can tell us. We're all friends here. <sighs> the other day, when I was in my son's room, I saw a letter saying that he was planning on running away on the 5th of February. <gasps> what? Butaro's running away? Wait, hold on just a second. The 5th has passed. Yeah, I think that's the day he was planning on running away, Boo. That also happens to be his birthday, Boo. But it seems as though he changed his mind, Boo. So, what happened? He invited Hamazaki and Sekiguchi over to our house and had a nice little party, Boo. It seems as though he enjoyed it. It's awful. Never in a million years would I have imagined that he would want to run away, Boo. He wanted to run away? I can't remember him ever mentioning something like that at school. On the other hand, I do remember him looking forward to his birthday quite a lot, though. Boo? Come to think of it, I remember him handing out invitations that said, I'll run it at home on the 5th of February, so please come. Please take this. It's an invite to my birthday party on the 5th of February, Boo. Cool. Count me in. Thanks. I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> hey. Wait a sec. Do you think the note you found in his room was an invitation? Maybe it was a first draft of a spare one. Boo? It wasn't, I'm running away from home. It was, I'm running it at home. Goodness, I see what you mean, Boo. From what I know, Butaro's an incredibly happy boy. I don't think that you have to worry about him running away from home. I'm so glad. Thank you, Maruko, Boo. What a relief, Boo. That's some good news if I ever heard it. I guess the best person to ask about your kid is the other kids, huh? <laughs> huh? <laughs> oh, <laughs> sorry. Sir, potato and fish. Sure. Hey, look, it's that man. Hey, do you know him? No, but I feel like I've seen him somewhere. Huh? Hmm, but maybe I haven't. Maybe I have. Which one is it, kid? Yeah, you know what? I think maybe I've seen that fella around as well. Yeah, looks familiar. I wonder where I've seen him, Boo. Uh, what's up? Uh, Good sir. Give me your finest sake. Uh. It looks like he's had enough already. Sorry, sir. It's just not responsible for me to serve you in this state. Can I interest you in a nice glass of water? No way! I asked for sake, and that's what I'm gonna get, you hear? Uh. I see what's happening. You just don't think I'm good enough to drink your sake, is that it? No, it's not that, I swear. He's scary. It'll be okay. I hope he leaves. He's gonna be trouble. Hey! Uh. 
Hey there! Want some? No, I'm fine, thank you. What's that? Are you saying you're too good to drink with me, wise guy? Hey, buddy. I suggest you leave the nice people alone. They're trying to enjoy their meal. What's that? What'd you say? Listen, you made a similar ruckus recently. Why don't you just go home? Huh? What's that? Uh, oh, it is you. You made a promise to me. You said you wouldn't do this again. Oh, <laughs> oh sorry. Sorry. Whoa, that guy's something else. Yeah, but who is that guy? All right, it's time you went home. I'm sure your wife will be worried about you. Right, right. I'll walk you home. No, it's fine. I know the way. I apologize, sir. Sorry, everyone. Please enjoy the rest of your evening. <laughs> Sorry about his behavior. Okay, so then, what do I owe you? Oh, uh... uh of course! Uh, what's the matter? What is it? He's a policeman. Uh, good evening to you. Oh. No wonder you looked familiar. I'm not on duty today. Remember, folks, sake's to drink, not to get drunk. You take care, okay? These clothes suit you, sir. A little bit old school. Uh, Maruko! Night. See you later! Have, Have a pleasant, pleasant evening! evening. That knocked the cobwebs out, if you know what I mean. Hey, Dad, how often do you go to that kind of place? Once in a while. Well, I thought it was some sort of secret base for you and your buddies. <laughs> no, there's nothing secret about where we hang out. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, hi, Mom! <laughs> Hello, sweetheart. What a surprise. Hi, Mom. We decided to go out for dinner tonight. Really? Uh, yeah. Hello there. Hi, honey. On this winter night, Maruko noticed a difference in her parents' faces compared to the day. And despite the cold, she felt a sense of warmth walking home together. In this episode, our notebook. Good morning. Oh, good morning for you, Tasan. <laughs> uh, I'd completely forgotten. Take it. I'm giving this to you as a token of our friendship. Uh, oh, no. I have no idea where I put it. sekuru I hope you're keeping your safe. Uh, I really hope you haven't lost it. Uh, well, I, um... Really? Uh... Oh, how could you do this to me? I regarded you as my best friend. Best friend? Look, I really am sorry. <laughs> it's a sweet gesture, that's for sure. Doesn't it totally blow your mind what you can make out of a piece of paper? Yeah. All right, then. In that case, why don't I give you a special one-on-one -on -one lesson on how to make it? Uh, you're too generous. Great. We'll make another one after school together. Uh, after school? <laughs> after school. Uh... I'd rather go straight home after school and get nice and warm than spend time with fuyuta on having an origami lesson. Hmm? Oh, oh, rats! What's the matter? Oh, look at that! That's Anne of Green Gables! Yeah, but it's due back in the library today. I'm heading to the library now. Let's go together. Sure. I should probably tell fuyuta san hmm? Come on, Kasugi. You're on day duty, too. You have to help out. Yeah, I know. I'd better go now and return it as quickly as I can. Hi! Returning, please! Oh? Our notebook? I started it a few days ago. It's for anyone who wants to express their opinion completely freely, such as what they think about a book they read. That sounds fascinating. I wonder what people have written about. Fujiki-kun, tell me something. Have you read Curse of the Pyramid? Eh? Uh... Yeah. I read it right away when you recommended it to me. It was totally off the hook. That's great. I thought you'd like it because I found it extremely entertaining. <laughs> it was a total page turner, right? Thanks for recommending it to me. Look at this. Someone wrote an entry in the notebook here. I read Curse of the Pyramid because a close friend of mine told me to check it out a few weeks ago, but I couldn't find any redeeming qualities about it. Uh -huh. Can someone explain why they like this junk? <gasps> 
Hey, mind if I have a look? Huh? Nagasawa. Go ahead. Hmm? Something wrong? Your lips are looking even paler than they usually are. <laughs> well, I guess it was you that wrote this, wasn't it, Fujiki? Uh, no, it wasn't me, I swear. But this handwriting's exactly like yours. <laughs> You told me you found the book entertaining, but then you wrote this behind my back. I get it. You're just some sort of intellectual coward. Uh, no, wait, you don't understand, Nagasawa. Uh -huh. How bizarre. I wonder where Sakura-san is. I think I saw her go into the library a little while ago. The library? Oh, someone wrote here about Anne of Green Gables. Anne of Green Gables was incredibly interesting. I think being best friends like Anne and Diana would be wonderful. Anne of Green Gables is great. I loved reading it. I agree. You know something? We should stay best friends forever, just like Anne and Diana did, right? Mm. Oh. Sakura-san! Huh? Fuyuta-san! Oh no, I totally forgot her. I've been reading in the classroom for ages. You lost my origami heart and broke your promise. I'm never going to speak to you again. No, wait a minute. Huh? So Fuyuta-san gave you one of those little origami heart thingies as well, did she? Huh? You got one too? Hmm. See? Why would she go and do such a thing? I don't know. But I'm pretty sure I saw her handing them out to about four or five other people in class. Aww. The next day. Huh? Uh, Morning for you, Tassan. So listen, I... Uh, it's over. Huh? Uh, 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 if only I didn't lose her origami heart. She gave one to everyone, huh? You know, it just sounds like she's incredibly lonely. Nah, she doesn't look like she's sad or anything. I bet she is. And what you did made it worse. Oh, it's a messed up situation. I wish she'd forgive me. No, 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 no. Oh, the only way to gain her forgiveness is to find that origami heart. Hey. After school on the following day. <sighs> I see. You weren't able to find it. Nope. I'm gonna go borrow a book. Wait for me, okay? Uh-huh. My friend got angry with me. What should I do now? Anne of Green Gables. Someone wrote that it's a nice story about good friends. I should borrow it and read it. It's the same with me. I also made a friend angry with me. I wish I could make up with her quickly. Hmm. Maruko? Someone wrote about Anne of Green Gables again. That's funny. Huh? What's the matter? I can't believe I didn't realize it. Take it. I'm giving this to you as a token of our friendship. Oh, thanks a lot. Returned. Uh, this writing looks kind of familiar. But this handwriting's exactly like yours. It's Fujiki! Uh, listen, Nagasawa-kun. Hmm. <sighs> Fujiki! Oh, hi there. What's the big hurry? Listen, do you have Anne of... Uh? Give me that! Huh? I'm so glad for you, Maruko. For you, Tasan. Oh no, she's gone already. Hmm? Oh, 
that drawing. I see. I guess Maruko wrote this. I also made a friend angry with me. I wish I could make up with her quickly. My goodness. Maruko, if you apologize to her tomorrow and show her that, she'll forgive you. Takura-san! Huh? huh? Fuyuta! Here. Takura-san. Sorry. It's all right now. Fuyuta! You drew the picture of the two girls in our notebook, didn't you? Unless I'm mistaken, that's Anne and Diana. Yeah. Anne of Green Gables is wonderful, right? What's funny is that I wrote about Anne of Green Gables in our notebook as well. I see. So you're the person who wrote that entry. Wait. Hold on a sec. Did you give us origami hearts? To copy the incident in the book where Diana gave Anne a red paper bookmark? Uh-huh. That's it. Let's swear an oath just like Anne and Diana did in the book. Huh? <laughs> as long as the sun and moon shall endure, I solemnly swear to be the best friend I can be. Besides, it's the least we can do. She really seems to like the Sand of Green Gables book, doesn't she? She does. So, thanks to our notebook, Maruko was eventually able to make it up with her friend for Utah. And as for these two... Nagasawa, sorry. Will you please forgive me? I read this book and I was really greatly moved by it. it made me realize I truly want to get back to being your best friend. Mm. <clears throat> Fujiki-kun, you read this book and you were impressed, weren't you? Uh, yeah. Well, in that case, I'm going to read this book right away. And if I find it difficult to see what's so great about it, I'm going to write this in our notebook. I decided to read Anne of Green Gables because of a close friend of mine told me to check it out a few weeks ago. Can someone explain why they like this junk? <laughs>